today we're going to make some really adorable and easy bunny rocks for Easter. I'm starting out using a white watercolor pencil to line out my bunny. This was a clue that I got from another rock artist who said that the watercolor pencil comes off even easier than the chalk pencil and when do you ever use the white pencil for watercolors? So drew it out with the white watercolor pencil. Now I'm going to fill in the background with gesso because these Mexican beach pebbles are slick, they are dark, and so it just helps when you're putting any paint down, but especially white because it's light. So it's giving it a nice base coat and some grip for the white paint. Then I'm gonna come back through and fill in the bunny with some white paint, a couple of coats. My white paint was actually getting thick, so I gave it a little bit of water and I think I did a little bit too much, so it actually was kind of thin. So because of that, I was getting a lot of lines from the brushes in my filling in of the paint. So I came back with a spongy little dauber to kind of pat, pat it dry and kind of just sponge out those lines. And it helps a ton to get rid of any of those paint lines and just smooth out the paint so it dries nice and evenly. I decided to do this bunny in my favorite color, which is turquoise or teal. So I got a darker teal and then a really light teal, and I'm gonna use the light color, which is called cloudless, to make the bunny ears. So, so kind of that part that would typically be pink in any kind of cartoon picture of a bunny, I'm making it the pastel version of the turquoise. Then I'm going to come back with the darker teal color and a dotting tool and make three dots in kind of an upside down triangle pattern and this is going to be for the bunny's nose. So once I get the dots on there I'm going to take a disposable eyeliner brush and just kind of clean up those lines and the bunny nose turns into a little heart. Then let's flip them upside down and we're going to add some white polka dots to that light teal inner ear of the bunny rabbit just for some cuteness and fun and you could play around maybe you don't want to do white maybe you pick a different pastel color or do like rainbow colors that would look really cute too now i'm just going to take a dotting tool that same dotting tool and do two black dots for the eyes i don't want them super huge just very simple black dots and then i'm going to come in with the posca pc 1mr paint pen and draw the little mouth, which is just two kind of curved lines, and then back again with the 0.2 uni pin fine liner to create the whiskers. So I'm just kind of angling some lines out from the little heart-shaped nose. This is a nice thin pen, which is good for whiskers because those are thin hairs compared to the mouth lines. Now because Mexican beach pebbles can get really dark when you put resin on them, they look like they're wet and they're very dark, I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge around the edges of this bunny so that the rock actually stays a lighter color when I resin it. So this is just a quick trick, um, it doesn't do anything else but keep that rock lighter when I put the resin on. Now while that's drying, I'm going to come back with some hologram extreme glitter paint and I'm going to put this glitter paint on the nose and then all of the polka dots in the ears just to give it a little touch of sparkle because that's what we love here right and then once we get the glitter on there and the Mod Podge is for sure dry I'm going to come back in with a thicker uni pin fine liner pen so this is the 0.8 it's the biggest one that I have out of my little set and I'm just going to outline the ears and I'm doing this after the Mod Podge because if I did it before and then tried to brush it on it would smear it so I'm showing you my favorite pastel color combination, but what if you tried it in any of the other pastel colors? It's perfect for Easter. And you can see that little bit of sparkle in the sunshine after the resin, and you can also see how the rock kept its lighter background with the Mod Podge on there. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I'll have more Easter ideas for you right around the corner, but in the meantime, check out this video I have on the screen for you now, and have a great day. Take care.